Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Book Race Minor 2019. This is me, Cyclops, in the last game, a uh, really last game of the day between Team Clutch Gamers and Boom ID. Race of three series, we are in game number three. We are in all the band pick face already. The uh, Dazzle and Antimate has banned out. The band pick face is very, very important. I think they might Radiant try to contest for Rubik. First pick Rubik, I think. Radiant team pick. No. Master. Speed Master first pick for Team Boom ID. It feels like I think the the good thing of Beast Master is not Radiant Primal Roar or his creep or what, but I think the Hawk are just so good in in scouting and, and gathering information. While Clutch Gamer reply with Rubik and Brew Master. Dire team bad. Sky Wrath May. Just like the previous game for Team Boom ID, they went for Brew Master and Sky Wrath Mage. If Clutch Gamer just want to pick a Brew Master, they're gonna use Ten this Skyron mate to counter him with the Ancient Seal. Ancient Seal on the Brew with the Aetherlane from remain. long range, and then just trying to kill him in 6 seconds. Radiant Team Ban. Dire Team Ban. Terra Blade has been banned out, but still a Phantom Sassine for Team Boom ID if we want to play it, or even a Morphling. Morphling has been banned out. Ten seconds I remaining. think this one is a good game for Slark. If someone not want to pick it, but we, we still have Slark, Faceless Boy, and also the Phantom Sassine. Radiant Team Ban. Radiant Team Pick. Phantom Sassine has been banned. And this Dire might be a slack pick. pick. Partner first. <coughs> I think the reason the Clutch game lost in the last game is because the um the Slark getting kited all game with the Creeper buy, and Slark didn't even go for a, 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 an item that countered the Creeper buy. Ten seconds remaining. So yeah, that's what happened. Five seconds remaining. Radiant team pick. Tiny for Team Boom ID. Not sure how they're gonna play a Tiny. This one it might be an off lane. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds South remaining. Southeast Asia Finals is around here, ladies and gentlemen. Let me think. I want to see how many guys watching through the. Wow. Dire team pick. And it's luck. For clutch gamers, this is good for clutch. I told you that this game is gonna be good for Slack because that's no Terror Blade, and um, this at this point he can't be kited because of a Pugna to Cryptify anymore. Remaining. Dazzle also Five has been banned out, remaining. so I think this one gonna be hard for Team Boom ID. They. Pretty much 
the same as the previous game for Team Boom ID, the first three heroes. They might have to change. But the question is how they're gonna pick their post one. Tiny will be played as a mid laner, definitely. And the post one will be I think it might be a faceless void. I think it should be a void. Spectre. A Spectre? Okay. Um people saying that wow you pick Spectre against Slark. That's not good against Slark, you know. But um so many people tend to forget that when you throw a uh, spectral dagger on Slark, it actually stop his regen. Ten seconds this is this is one thing that people tend to forget. Five seconds so remaining. what Boom ID gonna do in Team Fight is it's just gonna keep throwing the spectral dagger on Slark to stop his regen, and it's much easier to kill him when he cannot gain his HP back for the Slark. But again, if you want to reach that point, you just gotta get past the uh, laning stage. Spectre is one of the weakest heroes in the game when it comes to lane stage. Puck has been banned. seconds remaining five seconds remaining eight games in a row for me today <laughs> dire team running out of energy but yeah I think I got some left for the last game for you guys Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Tiny might be playing as the uh, core, or it could be post four as well. Radiant so this one might be a mid lane. Grimstroke. But it will be a Grimstroke as post 4. Will be played by Jokem. Stroke of Fate. And Inkswell is one of the strongest skills remaining. in the game at the moment. 5 seconds remaining. One and a half minute to determine what hero going to be for them. This will be a mid laner. Haskar has been banned. So, what do we got left? I would like to see something new like uh, Timber Saw or something like that. Timber Saw is not bad to be honest. Timasaw mid. Outworld Devourer. Okay. Ten seconds remaining.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back in again. Okay. Gonna do some quick intro who play who in this game for Team Clutch Gamer on the Radiant side. Noya on Rubik, Alacrity on Outworld Devourer, Nico Baby on Slark, KYXY on Pugna, and Skylark on the Brewmaster. For uh, uh, boom ID on the dire side, it's the uh, Keskilt on Skyrat Mage, Mikoto on Tiny, Tamako on Beastmaster, Fervian on Spectre, and Jokem on Grimstall. Gonna do some, yeah. Whole team smoke, full guy for team clutch gamers to the top. Oh, Meanwhile, boom ID, guys. smoke to the bottom lane. The reason the teams is tend to smoke a lot uh, to the bottom lane or top lane, uh, the off lane, is they want to go in and play some wards. Okay, why XY wards around here, the same spot as the game that they played against Team Mineski in the first game if you guys remember they placed here seconds to battle. and here this is a two spot that Clash Game would love to uh, place their observer wards Placing sentry wards around here to block the creep camp. So it will be two body rune each. The battle begins. Okay, why why? Alacrity. Oh, nice last hit at three. <laughs> Skylark on the bottom lane with the Pyron Brew Master Solo. I think he's okay with that. Against FBC, the um, Beast Master. Lane swapping, KYXY back to the bottom lane with Skylark. So it's the uh, Pugna and the apparent Brew Master here. Mid lane Alacrity. Still stick with his um, Outworld Devourer. Like I mentioned earlier, that Slark are good in the lane against Fervium, Spectre. So that's the reason why they put it together. However, Fervium have a good farm too. He has like three last hits. Spamming an arcane bolt. Stroke. 
Pico maybe to the bottom lane. Oh, switching. It seems like it's just gonna. He, he can't stand there with Jokem harassing him from long range. That's the reason why they change. Waiting for Parent Brew Master to find a safe spot to teleport back to the top. Yeah, uh, throw of fate for the first time, and now a 3v2. Aiming for the joke camp, but the clap is gonna hit. Cloud's not gonna connect, uh, but it was stopped uh, by the um, Kingswell. However, uh, they're still diving inside. That was almost the first blood. Unlucky. Were you watching? Now the fact that they spend so many, uh, so much time for swapping the lane that just gives that spectre some time to last hit, and he's not gonna miss it. He has 16 last hit with 5 denies so far. That's a good, good farm for spectre, a hero that that is the weakest laner in the game. On the way to a raid ban. Roll of fate. Denied. Are they gonna die that Spectre? It's gonna be quite hard. He still can throw some stifling dagger. I'm not stifling dagger, spectral dagger to get away. It's now level three. And the raid ban is on the way. Blankness is back on the hit kill. Here comes the fate ball. Nice body block by the Fovian on Spectre. Back to the bottom lane, seems to be a big fight here. They aim for the Grimstroke. Uh, he's gonna be fine. Using this ink spell on himself. Enough. In the lore, I think this guy's an artist. I mean, um, who knows, he might be like uh, Monet. Or is this Rembrandt? Rembrandt. No, yeah. Uh, okay, why X Y? Here come the creepy by and also in the last uh, don't come. Using an ink spell on himself, the Nexus explodes on KYXY to make Mrs. Mac. Very nice save by Team Clash Gamers. Uh, and it goes straight for the Joe Camera. Uh, ink spell not gonna connect. Uh, KYXY still being slowed down by the Boa. One hit on KYXY. They creepify on himself, turn on the self. Uh, what a kite by KYXY. People saying that this guy is washed out, uh, but he learned a lot from China. And he's come back to the Southeast Asia to be our. Well, it's too soon to say that they're just gonna be our representative. 2-0, having a very good start for Team Clutch Gamers. No goal it was never yours. Dokum, KYXY coming back in with a creep by once again. Flake misses back into the Nickel Baby. Dark Tack, uh, pounce on him. Not gonna run away from the leech. Once again, the Clutch Gamers got a better early game. They always be a team that online early, they're doing very good in every single game today. But they're gonna make sure they can, that they can complete shut down the hard carry of the other team. In this case, it's gonna be Fovian on Spectre instead of the uh, Terror Blight by last game. Visibility. Okay, Y X Y level four coming back in once again. Like Kinesis is ready. Back to into the dark and also the Leech jumping on him. Trying to dodge, uh, for FBC. Don't you ever dodge me. Pick up my phone. Here come in the middle lane. Uh, Astro imprisonment. Four zero, and leading on the, the network now is Slack. But they should be, they should be worried about Furby and farming too well. Normally, if you are playing Spectre, you won't get like the second place on the network. You should be allowed like uh, fifth or sixth plates, and then you're just gonna get network back when, when the mid game comes and you do the horn for the last hit. 
goes in for the Smexer, that's why. Seal level 5, no primal split. KYXY entering the scene. He can't near the blast, but Smexer just got away. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Slark. Stealing the creep with the dark pack. That was good fun for Slark. And then he misses back and he can turn on the king spell on himself. But dark pack comes out and one hit away. Air throw Prismander to save the Slark. Alacrity. It's the nice, eh? It's right. I am. But he was also stopped Slark from Radiance taking the last hit too. Is under attack. Five zero clutch gamer taking the lead as usual. Alacrity. Dyer are scanning. CC Slark. The whole team smoke. They are looking to wrap up at the bomb lane. Ganky up Slark for the first time. Led by Mikoto. I like Nessie. Slark going for the FPC Tamago. Still level 5. No primal roll. And Avalon Torch. So they're all dropping low. That's two kills in one. One bullet, two birds. Mikoto with a double kill. That's kind of a surprise attack. On the um, clutch game aside, they still cannot gank down Spectre, I believe. You now got three raid ban. Oh, yeah. Straight to Mikoto. Lot down for the first time for Spectre starts slashing on the KYXY. And can see a spamming Arcane Bow. That Primal Swing finally released. KYXY still alive, but not for so long. He still can decrypt himself. No, he cannot. Uh, he cannot. That nice ass from Prism and Fermion have to fall back. Uh, now look at in front line first. Uh, Mikoto being chased out by a lot of bears. Uh, he was burned down with a fire blare. Goes in. Uh, thunderclap, maybe. Thunderclap. Thrown away, and he's dead now without killing that tiny Mikoto got away with the throne. Bounty. Throw game to win game. Good throw. Just one hit away. I don't, yeah, I think he doesn't have I enough mana to do the thunderclap. Tabless. Or he would just too greedy to use it. Maybe he wanna kill the uh, tiny with just one pistol at half foot and you find a clap for another kill. That's wrong imprisonment, Skylar coming back in. This time he won't miss the thunder clap and he killed Fulvian down for the first time. That Spectre died. Network dropped to the fourth place. Back to the fight, the lane jumping in, pouncing on that MPC. Primal Roar, despite being gone down, but he's still. And kill one. Mikoto is on. Dominating. Throw a creeps inside to slow him all down. Throw the three. Throw everything. Nico Baby spamming that an arcane bolt on Nico Baby. He gets some regen back. Die because of concussive shot. Better catch kill. I do, I do in her name. Not looking good if you ask Dyer's me. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Dyer's Skylark top with the kill. This is actually the first time I see somebody build a Vladmir offering in the in this uh, 7.20 patched. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. And I'm trying to stay behind the tree line. The half HP is already for the bottom tier one tower coming out from the backstage. Mikoto once again carrying his team with his the um, tiny play. Getting closer and closer to blink that but blink misses back now he's thrown the uh, oh throw back again. Oh man, they keep throwing. 
My goodness, Primal Splinter not gonna make it this time for Mikoto. Dominic Streak ended by Alacrity, and he earned a lot of gold. 350 gold, not even done yet. Aiming for the fort support this time, jumping in for the Skyrise Maze. Catch kill falls by Nico Baby. They might get the power too. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. low HP for the tower might be last hit by slark or something this is a map control of team clutch gamer they even put up the wall right in front of their uh, bottom tier one tower to see the clear vision in the lane up the wards here Catching the outworld bar and they know that they are all dropping a mystic flare. That's hella damage to Alacrity. And they're gonna get one more kill. Spectre even on down for that too. Cool down. And the tower. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom tower has fallen. Instead of going for power trade, Spectre going for face boot. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Interesting. Because not many, not so many agility heroes going Dyer's off for a base boot these days. Power Trade is much better is since attack. it just got buffed in 7.2 OD patch too. Uh, from plus 14 stats into 16, that makes everyone just go for Power Trade. Beastmaster on the way to the Blink Dagger and trying to get a Necronomicon level 3. A Grim Stroke on top. Dyer's bottom tower has been denied. And now, Clutch Gamers up to something. Break into the Dyer NC of Team Boom ID while Boom also start to do a smoke. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. <coughs> Tamago. Bounty. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. Radiant's bottom Smoke popped up, CT Slark, still no blink after, but he being forced up inside just to get into the- Oh, was saved by the Astro Prisoner on the last minute. Uh, Primal Split is ready. Primal Split already comes out chasing for the support. Uh, Skyrod made being chased, uh, and Clutch Gamer just get rid of that FBC. Next one gonna be Jokum uh, being found by Slark, uh, pounce on him, Dark Pack, and Jokum falls. Uh, Skylark. Uh, just get rid of that case kill eventually. Three for team. Clutch game on this one. One point five K damage done by the outworld devourer. You see how strong this hero is. He's coming back to the patch. He's coming back to the scene. Dyer are scanning. He has been abandoned for years. So he being nerfed, his skill being reworked, now he's back in the scene once again. Look at that, look at that taste like Hoya near the water, shocking everyone. Mikoto, reach off the Skylark quite easy with a jump in avalanche and toss. Bot lane Spectre climbing a little bit too deep, got caught at the bottom. Second time that he got caught. And Spectre... Instead, going for something like a Radiant, he wants something that could help him online faster, like a Manta style. Already got the Yasha. He went for a max dis dispersion for so he can be more tanky without having a lot of protective items. Nico Baby 
Open A, that's Nico Baby. Mystic Fly Authority, Nico Baby is about to go down now, he's dead. Killing spree for Mikoto, ready to go for the next. Seems like uh, the Skyrod mid pick just paid off all the time. Ancient Seal, level 2 at 4 seconds, just enough to kill anyone in the game of Team Clutch Gamer now. No blink dagger for Baron Drill Master. I think he's just gonna walk. But again, without a blink dagger, it might be hard for him to just go in and, and, and doing something for his teammate. Just have to rely on Slack. Kinda weird. I, I think I think he need a blink dagger for uh, for Skylark because he needs to be the one to start the fight for the team. My end comes. <laughs> they got one more kill and joke him. Oh, maybe this is gonna use his alacrity to blink in and the uh, start the fight. Still got sanity eclipse, they need to be careful. Radiance top tower A lot of damage. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Mikoto, Avalanche and the toss. Uh, dropping quite low, nice save. Astron Pism in the good positioning by Alacrity. It's time to go Santa. And, and right click on Mikoto. Santa Eclipse killing spree ended. Just enough to kill that tiny. Good trade. Uh, as Team Crush Gamer just got the mid tier to tower too. Radiant are scanning. Got a bird here. 14 to 10 AM score. Spectre, how's it going? Trying so hard to get the mental style. Now he's being found by Slack. Boom, I need to do a scan and it hits Team Clutch Gamers. Nico baby. Boys up on the high ground for Nico baby. I was meant to have this. Double damage. Fermion, real master. <coughs> Using King Swell to steal the creeps. They're just trying to secure the area around the Rochan first and it's going to the Rochan pit. Get rid of this. FBC is inside. Kinda spooky. If he's being found, he's he gonna die for free and that might cost you ages. They're all still in there. Oh, like this, they might get attacked from behind. Oh my dear. top tower is under attack. Dyer's structures are fortified. Where's he now? Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Top tower Radiant's will go down for the clutch gamers. It's five towers gone already. For Team Boom ID. Radiant's bottom tower. However, Boom ID is right back on the bottom tower. They only got two. Now Clutch Gamer got a tower advantage. Uh, the top uh the top tier two and the mid tier two has gone. It's a perfect time for them to get the ages. The place observer wards here and here. Spectre comes up. Bomb lane doing some smoke. Uh, boom ID. Looking to attack uh, on a hard care of Team Slark. Well, Clutch Gamer also want to gank down that. S oh no, Ancient Seal. Easy. You see how easy they can kill that Slark with the Ancient Seal? 
Seal it with a kiss. Haunted down, and the uh, next one goes out is this KYXY. I feel like the game momentum already swing back into the boom ID side. Clutch Gamer once again at their fall to, to stop the boom ID hard carry from farming. Fervian is going to punish them soon. Uh, like I mentioned during the draft, that people saying that oh, Slaka is good with Spectre, but no, in late game, Slaka. Regeneration rate will be stopped uh, as long as the uh, spectral dagger effect still on on him. Furbian, who just Radiant got the mental side, now he's going for a diffs of light. Radiant scan at the seed, it's Dokum. Stroke of Fate. Piccolo. Avalanche at the cost, uh, nice catch. Uh, coming in deep for Boom. Now Clutch Gamer knows that their NC is not safe anymore. But the question is how are they gonna come out and the water out here? They know that the water is here. They know that there's a lot of water here. But the thing is they don't have any visions and if they go in, they got ganked by team boom ID, they lost a big team fight in front of their base, that's a risk of the barracks. And that's what they're doing now, taking control of the um, Radiant NC, shutting down the farm of Team Clutch Game of Hard Carry. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Back to the middle lane for Nico Baby. Beastmaster level 2 a Necronomicon. This, this is a graph. As you can see, the graphs are swinging back to Boom ID, both Golden and Experience Earn. And this is the item update. Take a look by yourself. I'm gonna sip some water. I don't think they can do anything about this um, this area being shut down. No saying the fight in the road time he starts uh, with the primal roar, cat skill dropping quite low, you have to fall back to the higher ground. Uh, Alacrity, uh, killing spree and then uh, whoever dies is brought back, it's two cores of team Clutch Gamer, that's a look good for Clutch Gamer. Engage the fight once again with the Rubik, Kalei Kamisis back into the Outworld Devourer, start to attack. Uh, it's gonna be the Aegis for Team Boom ID and Spectre will pick it up, uh, Furbian got it. Uh, highly successful fight for Team Boom ID. Spend 1.2, 1.1k on the uh, buyback. What is that? Clutch Gamer. They have been doing so good for the whole day. One against Team the Beauty Unity 2-0. One against Team Mineski 2-0. Radiance Middle Tower. But that was attack. a huge mistake. Spectre getting stronger and stronger. His next item should be something like a heart parask. I believe that it's gonna be a heart. Get a heart, and then after a heart, and get a um, depends monkey king bar or butterfly. Or he can even just go for a Radiance. But instead, he will go for Skull Batcher. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Kills are out here. Come on, get out of here. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. 
It's been a while since Team Boom ID taking control Radiant's of the uh, Radiant NC, causing Team Clutch Gamer to lack of the farm in the NC and also the lanes. This is what happens when you lose your tier 2 tower too fast. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Radiant are scanning. Recorder. Joken. 15 to 17 games for top lane alacrity. The grand final games of the Southeast Asia to determine which team gonna get the only ticket to Romania. The romantic land is in East Europe, man. What do you expect? This must be good. Good weather. Friendly peeps. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. On top the Avalanche falls, uh, a nice on the down by the Spectre. Suddenly the fight breaks. Dropping a Mystic Flare, nice effort for meant to save himself, but not for so long. Alacrity falls down. No buyback because he's just bought. Remember the fight around here? Unnecessary uh, buyback over there. And now it might cost them a tier 3 tower or even a Barracks. Spectre with the uh, Aegis on the way to the Radiance. Spectre throwing a lot of Spectral Dagger. Tower about to drop. Yes, he got Radiant's him. Goes away for the barracks. And what they're gonna do with that clutch camera? Whatever they want, attack. just give it away. They can't fight without that. Oh, Primal Space already comes out. They're aiming for the Spectre. Throwing Spectral Dagger. Starts attack on the Bailey Rags. Uh, keep on going for the Rack Barracks. Uh, objective gaming right there. Goes in uh, with Avalanche Swords. Uh, hit with the bong. Mikoto fall back just a little bit and just attack on the Barracks there. First rack gone. First set of racks gone to Team Boom ID in 30 minutes. And they're just gonna fall back and save the ages. That's it. it. Okay, why is why? 50 to 19 game score. A very good positioning for Team Boom ID. They get the first set racks, and I don't think the hard carry of Team Clutch Gamer could fight Spectre with a Radiance in late game, and now he's still carrying. Oh no, it's his reclaim. FPC Tomato Spreading out and trying to control all the area of Team Clutch Gamers Radiance top tower is falling Radiance bottom FBC shrine Tomato. is under attack
whole team smoke out that clutch gamer looking for a big change around here if they can win a team wipe i think they still got a chance it comes in with the ash on prisonment first and they get rid of the joke cam or back right away. It's a, oh, it's gonna buy. Oh no, Sam Stainer with the haunt. Uh, and here we go, Avalanche from in the middle of the team fight. They all dropping quite low, especially KYXY. He's still alive with the the fight, but how he get end up uh, getting hit by the Tiny eventually. Tiny, Telekinesis back, uh, getting attacked by Nico Baby now, but he's looking pretty healthy despite tanking. But drop down, sending Eclipse just to kill alone that Tiny. But look at that, where's Spectre now? Spectre already got back, uh, leaving his teammates in front line, uh, fighting each other. Oh my goodness, Joe Cam trying to hide, and it's Skylark just hit him. Uh, Look at the fight around here. Alacrity dropping solo. Oh man, Astro imprisonment on himself. Copy Pesarino, but Anoya with a primal roar. What a crazy team fight here. And with Clutch Gamma 1, we're still in the game. 20 to 20 game score. How are they coming back from that such a hard situation? This is something that awakens us. 3.5k damage done with 10k experience changed. Crazy game. Spectre, the fact that he got a lot of the uh, damage item, but he didn't go for a heart of Rask. I think he need a heart. Because, you know, as a Spectre, if you cannot stand in Team 5 for uh, as long as possible, then what's the point of, of having a Spectre dealing damage with the Dispersion? You need something to tanking up. But yes, Black King Buy is the best idea. But after that, it must be a harder task. <sighs> Crazy. KYXY. That tech got him. We got 40 kills in 34 minutes. And they're all grouping up on top. Boom ID. Such a big swing back. Look at that. Radiant are scanning. And that's the item update. Boom ID looking to contest again. FBC leading the party. KYXY is on the Glimmer Cave. He's being found uh, by a lot of Boom ID players. Very neat play by Team Boom ID. Always carry a sentry where they want to fight. Bouncy. KYXY trying to do some magic trick. Got caught first. Radiance top shrines under attack. No KYXY for 35 seconds. Radiance top shrine has fallen. Radiant's top tower is under attack. And it goes for the tower. Skylark. Radiant's top tower has fallen. 20 to 21 game score. Baby jumping on him into the Rochan pit. The both party seems like uh, they want Rochan so bad. The next ages will determine a lot in this game. Whoever gets it will definitely get at least one set Radiance of racks. Top, tower is under attack. top lane pushing in a lot of siege creeps. They have to come back on defense for Team Flash Gamer. Two siege creeps. Tower. See how fast the C3 can take down the tower. Good one, buddy. Whoever drive that Kari did great job for Team Boom ID, dealing a lot of damage to the tower. Now, meanwhile, Team Clash Gamer going back and defend the top. Uh, 
Team Boom ID strike in the Roshan pit. Uh, but it might be the contest from Team uh, Clutch Gamer uh, setting the Nader Wars already. Picking up the, the Furby and ACW Mortal. Here we go, Primal Spectre. They taking a risk and they go in. Uh, they aiming for the Spectre. Strike hard on the Spectre. He can't run away. He doesn't have enough HP to fight. And now he spent the first ages. Uh, it's time for Nico Baby to regen some HP and maybe go back in for round number two. Team Boom ID want to retreat. Uh, but the Horn call, call down uh, just to stop everyone jumping in. Avalanche Toss almost killed the Nico Baby. Nico Baby with no buyback. Next one going to be Alacrity. Everything gone wrong for Team Clutch Game. Running away with the yellow on Black King by his on Still being hit Can he run away? Ooh, that was so close Still a 3 down for Team Clutch Gamer anyway Boom ID going back to the middle lane And trying to take down this one No buyback for Slark for 80 seconds They already lost the bottom racks This is even worse for Team Clutch Gamers a cheese on the Spectre, he's now level 25. Plus 6% dispersion, just gonna deal hella damage to everyone in Team Clutch Gamer if you want to get near him. Skylark! Airlines at the toss, Mythic Flare! A miscommunication between a Tiny and Skylarker. And he's thrown away. It's time to go for top. Boom ID getting closer and closer to Romania. They are about to get the uh, Mega Creeps. Fermion. Fermion. Standing in a man fight. He's still holding an AJ. So turn on the Black Team Bar. And here comes the Primal Roar. They're all going for the Outworld Devourer. They know that if they can kill the Outworld Devourer, the game will be over. Outworld Devourer walking back. Only a few hits away. Being punched, being hit, everything. And it's all over. Outworld Devourer bought back right again. Still, still in the game because Slark about to come out. Yeah. But they got a fight without Rubik and also Parent Brew Master for at least one minute, and that's gonna be a make of creeps. One point three k gold. I can't hear you. Partner. CG KYXY. They are grouping up on the bottom lane for Team Boom ID. FB Tamako, FBC. So crest, Black King Bar, Radiant and Necronomicon. Fervian. Still not going for the Heart of Taras. He is really, really Radiant's confident with his survival skills. 2.6k HP. Fervian. CG cast kill. It's one step away for Team Boom ID. It's so good to see the new face to go as out the Southeast Asian representative once again. The lost, the Mega Creeps, and if you ask me, I think it's gonna be hard for them to come back. Even the micro is still hard. <laughs> 21k ahead for Team Boom ID. Level 21 for the Outworld Devourer, level 22 for the Nico Baby. It seems like they just want to wait one more Rochan, I think. Now they just farm first and try to push a creep wave inside. <laughs> wait another Rochan. But, you know, one thing about that is if you wait another Rochan, that team Clutch Gamer might max their level. 
and they are getting better. So I'm not sure if they should wait. I think Boom ID should go in. Okay, skilled. Maybe, guys, are you ready for the last team fight in this game? Boom ID pushing in the mech creeps. This might be a very last one, guys. The start attack on the throne already. Boom. It's all over in the base and start to turn on the black team mind to start attacking on him and it's out world devourer falls. Nico baby in the middle that he's still standing, still trying to fight and try. He just won't give up. Uh, Primal Roar already comes out. Nico baby walking back to the shrine and uh, trying to regen. He being thrown actually. Nico baby was forward to say in the child. Uh, this person gonna deal a lot of damage, even though it's in front of the shrine, but however. The Infirmian falls down, uh, but he still can buy back and hunt it down. MPC falls, uh, and it's gonna be the throne uh, and trying to attack on the throne already. MPC is still pushing out for Team Clutch Gamer. Game is not done yet. They don't want to buy it, uh, and they're just gonna capture this one. MPC was brought down by Team CG. Still holding on for Clutch Gamer, even though they lost half HP of the throne. Almost a team wipe. However, Boom ID still to Oakham. Wow, what a game we have here! 26 to 32 game score. This is gonna put one more time for sure. Still hanging on with the um, broken throne. I don't think I just want to push in more. Okay, why X Y? Invisibility. Regeneration. Skylock. <clears throat> Man, this is such a long day for all of us. We are so close to get to see which team will be our representative. Um, if you ask me, I think the chance now is like 70%. No, it's it 90% on Boom ID. They got a buyback, and they got to make a creeps, and that's nothing left in the base. Nothing left. Nothing left. Every single small house gone. No space for Airbnb around here. Only a throne. Slack. It's taking a risk in pushing out uh, at the same time the creep is pushing in the base. They need to be careful about the creep wave too. They can't go too far from the base. Still want to hang around. Illusion. Spectre about to get his Abyssal Blight, but I think he has to save uh, some money Radiant for a buyback. Now they're all grouping up around here for the Clutch Gamer Going to the Rotan kit, they want that Rotan kit, they want that Aces They have to take a risk if they lose the fight around here Then it should be it, Joe Kama easily get rid of that Noya And Nico B falls, uh, no buyback for the Slark And that should be it, the game ends here GG, Clutch Gamer uh, have tried their best, but still not good enough. Uh, congratulations to Team Boom ID. They are our Southeast Asia representative uh, to go to Bucharest Minor 2019. Congratulations, man. They have been fighting all along. Nice 
Oh, wow, congratulations for Team Boom ID. What a game, what a series here. We have eight games in a row so far today. Um, that's it, it. No more games. Congratulations once again for Team Boom ID. Finally, the Indonesian uh, Dota 2 scene is back in dominating the scene once again. Okay, I'm kind of happy to see that. Thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in to this. And it it's been like um, 14 games in two days of these qualifiers. A very hard qualifiers for me as a commentator. Um, requires a lot of uh, energy. Thank you so much, everyone. Yeah, you are actually my energy uh, for you know coming, tuning in, and support our twitch.tv slash beyond the summit. My name is Cyclops. I'm from Thailand. And if this is your first time uh, tuning into my cars and you feel like my car is a little bit of awkward or uh, feel comfortable listen to me, uh, I gotta say like apologize for that, man. Uh, luckily today I don't miss so many kills. I actually improved from yesterday. Thank you so much for everything. Thank you Beyond the Summit for giving me a chance to cast on this too. See you around whenever. Uh, I don't know too. Thank you so much. I'm just gonna say goodbye with one last song. And yeah, don't close the stream before I end the song. Thanks. See ya, man. <laughs>